Like the prison joke? <laughs> the prison joke? Guy goes to prison. Walks in the cell the first day, scared to death. He looks up at the guy at the bed above him. This guy's six foot eight, 290 pounds, and just growling. <laughs> this guy's scared to death. He's a little accountant. He's laying there in the bed, and he's just scared to death. About 3 o'clock in the morning, he wakes up. This guy's shaking the whole bed. He says, wake up, motherfucker. We're going to play house. He says, what do you want to be, the man or the wife? He says, I want to be the man. He says, get down here and suck your wife's dick. <laughs> oh, great city. I went to the zoo last time I was. Last time I was at the zoo, a funny thing happened. I was at the zoo. This guy was walking around. Looked a little confused. Walked up to this man. He was just picking up stuff. He worked there, obviously. Walked up to this guy. Excuse me, sir. Do you don't have to know what time it is. The guy says, yeah. And he sticks his hand in the elephant's cage, grabs the elephant by his ball, starts bouncing up, up, and down like that. He says, it's a quarter to two. <laughs> he says, that's a miracle. How in the hell can you tell something like that by bouncing the elephant's balls? He says, there's a clock right over there. Isn't it? <laughs> But I went to the zoo. I don't know about you folks. I think these animals come to a zoo in America. They've been here a couple of years. They pretty much lose that killer instinct, don't they? Huh? Went there and this polar bear got a look on his face like, hey, beats Alaska. <laughs> Eat a marshmallow, wave to a kid. <laughs> Call it a day. <clears throat> you got the penguins there to press. They're like all dressed up, nowhere to go. 